It is a real privilege to be able to do this show live just after the NBC Universal Telethon for Hurricane Sandy relief. Thank you for staying with us for this next hour. Um, on a personal note, I just want to say one thing um, about this crisis. As for myself and those of us who work here on this show, we have been very lucky and very blessed this week as this disaster has unfolded in the communities we all live in. Everyone on our staff is safe. Nobody has been injured. Our families are okay. A lot of us have property damage and no power and no water. Um, almost all of us, I think, have been living out of suitcases to one degree or another, but we are all safe, and that's what's important. I want to thank everybody who has been asking. You're all very nice, but we're all all right. I do, I do just want to show you one thing, though. Look at this video. This was taken this morning by our friend Jessica rodriguez Dull, who is a producer on this show and has been from the beginning. Most nights, Jessica would be responsible on the show for making sure a piece of video like this made it onto the air. But today she was at home in Lindenhurst, New York, on Long Island, because this is the street where Jessica lives. This is what her neighborhood looks like as of today, four days after the storm made landfall. Jess was at home today working to assess the damage, clean up her flood-damaged home to help her neighbors. While she was at home, well, hey, a New York congressional delegation made its way down her block. Jessica, you could see she was wearing her staff sweatshirt uh, from the show, her TRMS sweatshirt, uh, when New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand came up to talk to her. Lindenhurst, uh, Jess's block, this, just this little flip cam video, this is the best way we know to show you how we all feel about this story that we are in the middle of. And this disaster just indiscriminately took lives and uprooted lives and ruined a lot over a huge area affecting millions of Americans in a big area of the East Coast, but also really specifically in this one part that we all live in, which is the most densely populated place in this country, which means we are forced here in this particular part of America to be very interconnected, to be interdependent, to know thy neighbor because thy neighbor is very close to thee. And that is how we like it. It's part of the reason that you live and you work in a place like this. Every day we strive to take a wide view, a fair view of what's happening in the world, to do our best job at communicating useful information to you about the news and politics and the world that we are in. But if you have been sensing some personal urgency in our telling this particular story, it's just because we cannot hide it. It's true. Which is why I say it is a real privilege to do this show this night following the big telethon to raise funds uh, for the Hurricane Sandy relief efforts. I may not um, ever endorse candidates, but by virtue of working here, I am allowed to tell you how wholeheartedly I personally endorse this message. That if you have the means to do so, even at a very small level, if you have the means to do so, you should donate to help the relief efforts for this disaster. If you want to donate by phone, the number is very easy to remember. It's 1-800-HELP-NOW. Online, you can go to redcross.org, or you can donate 10 bucks by text. Just text the words Red Cross to 90999 to make a $10 donation. When the power came back on in parts of lower Manhattan tonight, uh, late this afternoon, early tonight, you, you could hear the cheering from these folks on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Sweet relief. It's been a long week. And I'll tell you, there was some cheering here at our offices in Midtown, too. And we saw that footage come through and we saw the live feed come through. Throughout the night, the lights have been coming on in some of our homes as well, which is a cause for relief and lots of gratitude. And honestly, still lots of worry and consternation over the places that are still a long way off from coming back. So I take a, a, a point of personal privilege here in asking... If you have not yet donated, think about whether you can. Easy to remember, 1-800-HELP-NOW. All right, I will leave it there. There's a lot to get to tonight. The New York City Marathon was canceled today. Um, the Obama administration has announced plans to distribute up to 22 million gallons of gas and diesel in the recovery zone, which has been very hard hit by fuel shortages. And, oh, by the way, there's a national presidential election in four days. And, yeah, there is some news about that, too. That is all ahead this next hour, but... Thank you for indulging me here. We'll be right back.